everyone welcome to a brand new video so in this video we're going to introduce ourselves to jupyter notebook so this is a very popular software it's a very popular ide you could say for python now the way you could write code with it is that you write these sort of notebooks where you would mix code with text and descriptions and then you would be able to produce a sort of very neat notebook where you would write code run code as well as write textual descriptions now it's very popular, it's very popular in data science especially. So if that's kind of your thing, then you should definitely learn Jupyter. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to learn exactly how to install it on a Windows machine. Now you have one of two options. So you can install it with one Anaconda or you can install it with pip. Now pip is much less complicated and we'll explore that in this video and you'll be able to do, uh, to do it on your own in no time. So to install Jupyter with pip, all you have to do is open up your command prompt, um, empty, and then just go ahead with pip install Jupyter. And then you would wait for it to be installed. Now I already have it, and that's why I get the requirement already satisfied for pretty much everything. So instead of this, in your case, you just have to wait for it to be loaded. And then once it's done, then it's definitely installed on your machine. Now. How does it work? How do you launch notebooks and how do you work with them? So it's pretty straightforward. The first thing you have to do is go to your command prompt and then let me just clear my screen. And then you have to navigate to the file directory from which you want to launch Jupyter Notebook. So I'm just gonna cd to my uh, YouTube file. So cd code first.io. What to do is simply type the following. So it's Jupyter Notebook. And then you click enter. Now I had a typo because, all right. So now that you type Jupyter Notebook, it should launch on its own in your default browser. So as you can see, so I have Jupyter right here and it was launched in the browser. Now, another way to access it is to actually just type this in the URL box. So you would have to just say localhost 8888 slash tree and that you would get your Jupyter file tree. Now, what this is, is that this is sort of a file explorer. So within my d slash codefirst.io folder, this is what I have there. So I have some YouTube data, some video related data in this video file, and I have my Jupyter demo. So going into it, it's actually empty. So here I can create new files and I can create, um, I can create a folder. So I have untitled folder and now I can create things within it. So this is where I would be able to create a notebook. So just to kind of recap this, so we were able to install Jupyter using pip, then we were able to launch it using the simple command line term, which is Jupyter Notebook. So you just have to navigate to the directory that you want and then launch Jupyter Notebook. That on its own would launch Jupyter in your default browser, and then it would show you the file directory tree from which you can explore different files and folders and then access them. So let's just create a sample Jupyter Notebook. So this is here, when I say new, I can choose what I want to create. So I can create a folder like I just did with untitled folder. I can access the terminal. I can create a text file. Python Notebook, you just go to Python 3. And then this is a new notebook that was created using Jupyter. So this is a purely Jupyter Notebook. And this is where you can just print things and write Python code and then you could run it and this is how you would work with it. So that's pretty much it. So you were able to install Jupyter Notebook, you were able to launch it and create your first notebook. Everything else is pure Python. So you can write Python code here. You can just type anything pretty much and run it. And you can also have markdown. So these are some sort of, it's a way for you to format things. So you could just write this and you would have descriptions for your data. You would have code, you would run this code, and this is how you kind of write a notebook. You could also rename it right here. So you could say Jupyter demo and rename it. Thanks for watching and I hope it was useful. I hope you managed to learn enough about how to do this and I hope you're now comfortable doing it and I hope you managed to do it. So please leave a comment and a like if it was good and if it was interesting. Thank you very much.